Hey, BJ Professor Dan here, your friendly, if snarky, pop music historian, giving you my thoughts on uh, Van Halen's Jump. Jump is less of a song and more of the final decisive battle in the Great War of Van Halen, uh, the Battle of Jump. It's a four minute battle to the death between David Lee Roth and Eddie Van Halen over just who is the biggest show off. Rock and roll had never seen such a battle of the egos, such exponentially escalating examples of one-upmanship. It was the rock and roll equivalent to a world title boxing bout. In one corner, we have Eddie Van Halen. Eddie's ability to play the scales at top speed had always been an impressive magic trick, and indeed, the kids were suitably impressed by it. But for Jump, he takes things to the next motherfucking level by doubling it down with a synthesizer solo. A synthesizer solo that emerges from the guitar solo so seamlessly that it's sometimes difficult to tell where one ends and the other begins. It's impressive, jaw-dropping stuff. And doesn't Eddie know it? Doesn't Eddie just look way too pleased with himself? When was the last time you saw someone laughing to themselves in the middle of a keyboard solo, chuckling at their genius? And in the other corner, we have David Lee Roth, constantly strutting about, constantly doing backflips and splits, constantly popping his head in the frame, going, look at me, look at me, look at me, refusing to let anyone else own your eyeballs for even one second. Up against anyone else, David Lee Roth would be the star. But that's not what happens on Jump. For not only does David have to compete with Eddie and his great big guitar synth solo combo, he has to compete with the real star of the show, that humongous riff. Which of course was also written by Eddie. In virtually every other song with a humongous riff, the riff is fair, reasonable, and knows its place. In virtually every other song with a humongous riff, the riff will stand aside during the verses so that the star can strut his stuff. That doesn't really happen with Jump. David tries to strut his stuff, but the riff just drowns him out. David Lee Roth is reduced to photobombing his own video, asking such questions as, can't you see me standing here? David Lee Roth even feels the need to clarify who he is. He's the one with his back against the record machine. Otherwise you wouldn't know because you're just listening to the humongous riff. For the first time in his life, David Lee Roth is not the center of attention. For the first time in his life, David Lee Roth has to beg for attention. David Lee Roth may be one of the greatest show-offs of all time, but he was outshone off by the magical musical wizardry of Eddie Van Halen. No wonder they soon broke up. Jump is an eight.